Hey, what's going on with you guys? Hope everybody having a good one. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Fish Corner. If you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today I seen a little bit of an injury on my flower horn cichlid. I'm not sure how that happened to him. I'm thinking my pike might have got to him, but um, I'll let you take a look at this guy and I'll tell you what I plan on doing about it. So there's my flower horn cichlid right there. It's a real deep, looks like a laceration or even a bite, it's really hard to tell, but I'm thinking it's a bite. I'm pretty sure it didn't come from the turtles in here because he's moved, he moves real fast, and I don't see how the turtle would have been able to bite him, and um, and he still either get away, or why he would sit there long enough for a turtle to bite him. But nonetheless, he has the injury on him, so I need to go about it the right way, which means that I'm gonna put salt in the tank and I'm also gonna add into there some Melifix. So, not that Melifix is my go-to, but it indicates on the back of the bottle that it's for any kind of open source or anything like that. So, with that being said, I'm gonna use my Melifix on that, and um, I'm sure he'll be fine within the next few days. So, I'll go ahead and treat him, and uh, you could just, uh, matter of fact, what I'll do is, I'll wait until this guy is healed up before I actually post this video. So I'll medicate him for the next few days. I'll let you see that. And we'll just see how long it takes for this guy to get healed. And then, uh, see, you could really see it right there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. yeah it's so, it's really, really deep. So it, it might take a little bit longer than a couple of days. I hope not. But, you know, he still looks healthy. He's happy still. Um, I'm pretty sure he'll eat. But I just wanted you guys to see this. So you know that we all go through our little fish, uh, fish situations, and um, and you know, with us being in this hobby together, we just have to help each other. So when you have an issue with your fish, hopefully you could uh, refer to one of my videos, and and it'll help you along. So let me go ahead and get this guy medicated, and then uh, we'll we'll uh, finish up this video. Go ahead. All right. So I'm gonna eyeball the salt. You might think it's a good idea or a bad idea. It's a uh, as your personal opinion, but I like to just eyeball it. I'm not, I know for a fact I'm not gonna put too much. So that's about all the salt I plan on using. And then I'm going to put in the caps, six and a half caps that is Melifix. So that's six and a half caps of the Melifix. Okay. All right, so that's it. Melifix, pine salt, same thing as, a, as aquarium salt. So if you go to PetSmart, don't let them fool you and have you paying that extra money for the other salt. It's all the same. So that's what I'm using in here. I'll check back on it again tomorrow and I'll make sure I update you guys so you can see what the progress is from today compared to what it's gonna look like tomorrow. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, see you tomorrow. Day number three, medicating the flower horn and also the African Pikes. Same dosage, just keeping you guys updated. Three, four, five, six, and a half. So, take a look at the flower horn right there. Look at his wounds. Looking much better. Despite the fact that he's been injured, he is still, he has still eating food every single time. He's not acting stressed out or anything like that. He just got some scars that we need to attend to. So between him and the pike over there that's in, that's in hiding, I think they will be fine by Monday. I will certainly have to go to the pest store again and grab some more Melifix, but 
we're pretty we're good on that like i said day three so i'll check back with you guys again tomorrow peace out so this is day number five i'm no longer medicating the water but the healing process hasn't stopped yet so i would say maybe about another Maybe three or four days, hopefully. I could be way off, but we'll see. Anyway, check back with you tomorrow. He's almost completely healed. 100% he'll be done by tomorrow. So he's still sitting there with one small dot right there on his head. I thought it would be gone today, but 100% it will be gone tomorrow for sure. So. I'll do one more video tomorrow for you guys, even though I could actually complete this video today and upload it. I want to make sure that it's completely gone so I could give you an accurate time lapse on how long it took for all of our flower horns wounds to heal and the progression along the way. So I'll be back with you guys tomorrow. See you then. Peace. So this guy is fully healed up. I think it took about eight days. He's looking happy and fat right now. Still enjoying some more of this tilapia. But that's pretty much it. So just use the Melifix for about three days and um, just allowed it to work and do its job. Did my regularly uh, water changes. And um, as you can see from this um, time lapse, it was really bad in the beginning. Had lacerations on both sides. And now, like I said, he's fully healed up. So if you ever have um, an issue with your fish, that Melifix does work. So I hope it was helpful. And uh, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And until next time, peace.